you've broken a lot of records. You'll probably break more records, but the significance of you know becoming the all-time leader in playoff makes from three-point range when you're at the age you are and kind of still in your prime, what kind of significance does, does that have maybe compared to some of the other things you've accomplished? Well, um, I mean, in terms of playoff records and things like that, obviously it helps you play in a lot of playoff games and have an opportunity to go after those type of things. Um, the way I play, the shots I take, you obviously have confidence every every time you rise up. But uh, to be in the same category and to pass a guy like Ray Allen and all the iconic moments he's had, and, you know, in playoff games and finals games and all that type of stuff, it's it's pretty surreal. So definitely, you know, honored and grateful for the, those opportunities. Um, I always joke though, I shoot a lot of threes. I better make a lot of them. So. Steph, uh, Janie McCauley from AP, uh, both Beverly and, and Kevin Durant said um, said that uh, that was fun for them out there tonight, even though, you know, they were trash talking and going back and forth a little bit. Steve wants you guys to play smarter, and, and how do you guys sort of balance the, the two? And, and, you know, when when a game gets a little testy like that. We got, we got high IQ individuals on our team, and we know – when the leash is a little longer, you can kind of get away with stuff like that. Uh, there was a nice competitiveness and intensity out there. Um, pretty sure if the game was a little closer, four minutes left, K would have had a little bit more constraint. But he, he wanted to kind of set the tone that you know the way that they play and how physical they were and you know stuff that Pat does, which makes him who he is. You know we we're ready for all of that. So um, you love the, the competitive fire. They, like the playoffs is just. It's hard to explain how different it is, and everybody showed up tonight. Tony Harvey, uh, Sacramento Observer, Steph. That uh, first quarter, you know, you didn't get a lot of things going, a couple assists, but um, the last three quarters, that's when you started picking up. Were you just trying to, you know, get a feel for the flow after that first quarter? Game ones are always, you know, interesting because it's a feeling out process, and Everybody comes in with a certain game plan of how to defend us and trying to take, especially me, K and, and, and KD, you know, out of our spots on the offensive end. Can't force stuff. We, I mean, we had turnovers early but and often, but uh, for the most part, it was just taking what defense gives you. Draymond was unbelievable in that first quarter, you know, being confident when he had the ball in his hands, making making plays, being aggressive. DeMarcus the same. Uh, but over the course of 48 minutes, you know, the way that we play, share the ball, continue to move bodies and stuff like that and look for each other. Um, it's kind of hard to, to, to key on one of us, you know, the entire game, and we got to take advantage of it. So, you know, every game is different too. So, you know, who knows what will happen game two and, and, and beyond. Steph, Brian Bennett, Fatemi, KMBR 680. Since Steve became the head coach of the Warriors, you guys are 15-1 and one in playoff game ones. I know you mentioned that it's kind of a, feel, uh, a game where you feel each other out, but what's been the key to consistently getting off on the right foot in, in these playoff series? Home court advantage helps. Uh, on sides, Houston, I think we've been at home for every single one of them, so <clears throat> uh, you got to protect home court, especially in the playoffs, and our you know the energy in the building was amazing. It always is. Um, but you come in with the right attitude. Uh, try not to get distracted by you know officiating or missed shots. Just play hard. Um, have a high IQ to what we're trying to do, and you know good things happen. So you know tonight was a an example of all of that for sure. Tomari Zarley from Clutch Points. Steph, about a week and a half ago, Landry had those five threes in the first half against you guys. Then he threw KD on him to sort of slow down the flow of their offense. How important is stopping Landry, uh, Shaman, in terms of slowing down their offense? I mean, he's a guy that can get hot at any moment, and they run a lot of good sets for him. Got to know where he is at all times. Um, you know, KD's length is, is great in terms of – even if he has a little bit of separation, Kate can close out pretty quick, and <clears throat> you know we can switch all over the court and stuff like that. So uh, we did a good job of it tonight. Got to refocus and and understand that we're probably going to make some adjustments to try to get him some better looks, and we got to be ready. So Kate did an amazing job on him. 
whoever was on him really just made it made it tough. And you know, even the one shot he made uh, in the fourth quarter, um, we had a good contest on it. He just made it, so just got to keep bodies on. Hey, Steph Mark Medina Barry News Group. Obviously, the death lineup has a lot of talent and experience. Did you just use that nickname? And what is what, who's it? Who's no, it? Tim who's it? Def, who is it? Tim uses Hampton Five. I didn't want to steal that. Oh, oh it's the same. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> but when Steve went to that in the second quarter, um, what did you guys do collectively to stop what they were doing? Uh, I, don't, I don't really know the specifics. Just we obviously play faster. A lot of different playmakers with the ball in their hands. Uh, we got a pick and roll alley oop to Andre. Um, you know, you got shooters all over the floor spaced out. And when Draymond's in those playmaking positions, he usually makes the right decision. So defensively as well, we're a little bit you know more versatile. But again, that's part of our team and the makeup of this year. We have a lot of different looks that we can go to, and we got to be able to adjust on the fly. Uh, you know when those when, when those lineups happen, and just play with confidence and play together. Steph, kind of right in the middle. Phil Barber, Santa Rosa, press Democrat. You hit that one shot from 30 or 32 feet with the defender draped on your back as you were running down court. I'm just wondering, a shot like that, is that totally spontaneous? Or, or as you heat up, are you starting to think about, you know, lengthening the floor a little bit? It's a little bit of both. Like, you don't want to choreograph what you're doing. But obviously, if you had a couple go down, the momentum starts to pick up. And you... You just see the rim a different way. Shout out to the contacts. Steph, Steph, it's it's not every night that that you're the leading rebounder of the game and and the only guy with double digit rebounds too. I mean, what what does that mean to you to to do that on on that end of the floor? It's usually not 15, but you know, consistently every night I try to you know help our bigs out and our team and. And rebounding the elbows, and you know maybe getting one or two just loose ball balls on the offensive end, give us an extra possession. But you know tonight I was off the ball defensively a lot and in, in the right positions, and you know you see the ball uh, in angles and trying to get be at the right spot at the right time. And for us, anytime a guard gets a rebound or somebody can just get it and go, it's hard to defend that as well. So uh, I think that's the part that helped us in terms of. One, getting, you know, maintaining possession and, and getting defensive stops, but then also being able to push and, you know, the wings are running and it starts to speed our uh, speed up our attack a little bit. So um, it's, it's also fun as well when you can battle with the big guys a little bit and, and, and get, some, get some boards. How locked into the Masters are you going to be tomorrow morning? as locked in as I can get until practice starts. Uh, so hopefully, uh, I don't know the timing of it all, when the back nine will start, how close that'll be to when practice starts. But uh, yeah, I'll be locked in for sure. Hoping, hoping to see some Tiger magic, to be honest with you. It's exciting for the game of golf when he's, when he's doing what he's doing.